Would you like to see how the dev environment of a Fang engineer looks like? Would you be interested in knowing the tools used? Moreover, would you like to configure them and use it in your setup? This is the video I wish I had when I was taking the baby steps, dreaming to learn and use some of the best tools in the industry. Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In this series, I want to share the tools I use at work. This is kind of extension of my previous videos but even if you're here for the first time, this video will be interesting to you. The most frequently used tools at work is a text editor and a terminal multiplexer. In this video, we dive into specific configurations I use to make it an absolute joy to work with. Before going into the tools itself, I will share how most if not all of the Fang engineers dev environments are set up. As an engineer, you will have one, a personal PC, which is most commonly a MacBook, two, you can claim a remote server as your development machine. And then you work on this server from your MacBook. The code you write is here, you, you compile here, and you run and test your code here. There are a couple of reasons why this is a very good setup. One, replaceability. If your remote machine gets corrupted, you can easily grab a new one. The second one is easy upgradability. If you want a more powerful machine, just reserve a different VM. Third one is speed. Since VM is located in the data center, copying from the version control is very fast. The fourth one is security. In the event your PC is stolen, there is no data on it that could get leaked. Now, let's see the main apps I use to work with the above setup. The three main apps I use every single day is number one, Kitty, a terminal application in Mac. Number two, Eternal Terminal to connect to the remote machine. Number three and four, Tmux and Web. In this video, we will focus on Tmux and NeoWeb. I will talk about Kitty and Eternal Terminal in a future video. I had two previous videos where we made a simple minimal setup for Tmux and NeoWeb. We will build on top of those in this video. One of the questions that you may have in your mind is why Tmux? Why NeoWeb? So let's try to answer that. Why Tmux? Tmux, as you know, is a terminal multiplexer. It lets you create multiple terminal windows and splits. However, the most interesting use of it is in a remote machine. Usually, when working with a remote machine, once you SSH into the machine, you will get one terminal. If you need more, you either SSH again or use application like Tmux, Tmux Screen, etc. When we are using only SSH, if there is a network disconnection, then we lose any foreground activity that is going on in the terminal. Whereas if this is inside a Tmux session, then once you log back into your machine, you can just attach to the existing Tmux session and continue your work. And lastly, the main advantage is Tmux is a timeless app. Learning it well can be an asset for lifetime. If you're like me, you may have tried multiple terminal application over time. Each has its own shortcuts, features, etc. And usually it is replaced by a new app soon enough. What I have realized is Tmux offers all the features offered by all of the terminal apps and even more. Since I have started sticking with Tmux as my primary terminal multiplexer, I have not had a reason to relearn any new shortcuts in the past 10 years. And at the same time, Tmux being open source has cool new features added all the time so you don't lose out on any new features. Why NeoVim? Again, over the past 10 years, many text editors have come and gone. Sublime Text, Atom, Eclipse. Only editors like Wim and Emacs has stood the test of the time and they support not all, but even more features than any other text editor. Over the past five to six years, I have seen my friends switching editors and relearning everything. Sticking with an editor like Wim or Emacs can pay a lot of dividends over time. They are basically the one editor to rule them all. I specifically like NeoVim, so in this video, we are going to look into how we can make NeoVim and Tmux work together. One of the main pain points while working with NVim and Tmux is window or split navigation. It's very common to have multiple Wim splits and Tmux splits, and it is very important to have an easy workflow to navigate both. In this video, we start with a minimal configuration for NVim and Tmux we built earlier in previous videos. Here, I have created 
three tmux splits to show how we normally navigate inside tmux splits in tmux we need to press ctrl a followed by an arrow key to move move to a split in the in that direction whereas in vim we need to press ctrl w and then an arrow key and an arrow key to move to a split this is not the best experience because in tmux we have ctrl a and in vim we have ctrl w if we have a common shortcut to move between neovim and tmux that makes this experience much more enjoyable to do that let's first add a new plugin vim tmux navigator find the repository from google copy the github path and add to packer using the use function save it source it and packer install now we need to add some configuration into our tmux in the github readme file for vim tmux navigator the command set is available copy it and add it to our minimal tmux configuration now source the new configuration using the source file command of tmux let's make some vim splits and tmux splits to now experiment with the new config now you can see that we can just use control and hjkl keys to navigate in both tmux and vim and even between vim and tmux however there is a small problem here the default key used for these mappings is control however control hjkl is used by both vim and the shell read line as you see here control h is used to delete the previous character in both neovim and shell read line similarly in vim control k is used for inserting digraphs and control j can also be used for beginning a new line so control for vim and team tmux navigation will result in us losing some default functionality which are used therefore i prefer to change the map to use meta or alt key instead of control let's open the tmux configuration and change all the mapping from control to meta with the above change to the config we can now use alt hjkl to navigate seamlessly between neovim and tmux so in conclusion in this video we looked at the basic setup i use at work looked at the two main tools and added configuration to our minimal config for neovim and tmux to make them work seamlessly with each other if you have not seen the videos where we created the minimal configs for both neovim and tmux do check them out see you with another video also subscribe to the channel if you like videos like this